Hello everybody, <clears throat> this is Chris, the lottery guy. Uh, today I'm doing a video on the Match 5. <clears throat> we have here on the Match 5. And what I'm doing here is going to show a comparison of how to do these numbers on the uh, last three numbers being the triples and the twenties. You'll see right here we have uh, 20, the twenties and all three of the last three slots, the last three boxes. And that happens uh, not too often. Uh, out of this draws right here, we have it's hit uh, three times out of 26 draws. And that's all the draws we've had here in Mississippi on the match five. And we've had 26 draws. And what I'm trying to do is like a comparison. If you see how many numbers there is, this is one whole sheet of paper right here. And that's 119 sets of numbers. That if you was to be trying to match up all three numbers being in the 20s. Like if, say for instance, these, these first two numbers was in wherever you chose them, like in the singles, like two and an eight or something like that, and then the other three being in the 20s, that is a lot of numbers. Uh, to, and uh, this is the sheet right here. If you look at an orange, <clears throat> we're in Mississippi, it's, uh, the 25, 27, and 28 hit right there. That's one of the three. And then I have the sums written out at the end of each one of my numbers on this list that I'm doing now. I've been keeping up with every single number from the beginning of this game, whenever it started back in April, April 29th, whenever it started. This was the first draw. Okay, then if you look right here, then we have another where they are three of them in the 20s. And the first two, is, first two numbers are in the singles. So if I was going to probably pick all three numbers in the 20s, I would probably pick those in the singles uh, because I think that's how they normally fall more often. Uh, they do fall in other ways too, on the teens and the twenties, but normally the singles are more often. So that's the second time that they hit. And here is the third time, which is about uh, three draws ago, two draws ago, this last time. We have the twenties there. And then I also have it totaled up at the end of how many numbers that is. Uh, the total of the sum. So, if you see that right there that happened three times, and then you're looking at 119 sets of numbers. Now, I'm, I'm getting to a point here where I'm gonna show you the point that I'm talking about. If you'll look right here, I have another list. And this list right here is gonna be the last three numbers that's gonna be in the 30s, okay? What we have here in comparison to the 20s, they had the 30s. We have a total of 5, 10, 15, plus 4 is 19 sets. Okay, 19 sets, and also the same. These sets come up three times out of 26 draws. So we have the 20s, they come up three times out of 26 draws. And we have the 30s that come out three times out of 26 draws. But the big difference is, is you only have 19 sets of numbers in the 30s. Over here in the 20s, you have 119 sets of numbers, which unless you are in a lottery pool, that would be very difficult to cover all those numbers, uh, unless you was in a motor, a, a, a lottery pool, that would be the only way to do it. But if you take an individual that wanted to bet on the, let's say, the all three of the 30s, 
<clears throat> on through the 30s on the very end, that would be basically 10, 20, 30, basically about 40 bucks if you wanted to cover that. So that'd be 40 bucks on one drawing and that don't cover so many numbers in your beginning numbers. You'd have to really get lucky <clears throat> to get those beginning numbers correct. Uh, normally in the singles, it takes about uh, 90 sets of numbers to cover all the singles. So that would add up to quite a bit of money if you tried to cover them all. Uh, for one drawing, and then they don't, these don't hit too, too often, but they will hit. That would be a really, really big gamble on doing that every single draw. So too expensive, unless you was in a lottery pool, and that would be the probably the only way. And then even with a lottery pool, you might have so many people in there that you couldn't, it wouldn't be very much after you split it up. So I'm gonna come over here and show you the sums on the, and the numbers that I come up right here. Um, the first of the thirties didn't show up for a very long time. Uh, so then you had right here, you got three of the year thirties, 30, 34, and 35. And you also have 31, 34, 33, and 34. You have those two fairly close, but it took a few days, quite a few drawings before it got to that. That's two of them. And then I'm gonna show you the next one right here. The very last draw we had, which uh, I didn't write the date down here. I forgot that to fill that in, but it's only been uh, a couple of days, well, Saturday. Today is Monday. So basically two days ago, I think it was on the 26th, if I'm not mistaken. I'd write that in. But anyhow, uh, to make the point is, if you're gonna cover the 30s or the 20s, you'd probably have to spend less money to cover all your 30s. And if you see, they're hitting basically in the same average. Uh, same average, you got three of these and three of those. So if I was gonna pick one, I would probably pick the 30s. Uh, even though, if you look through here, the 20s and this section all the way down, they do hit more often uh, when you have two, two 20s together. I wanna probably do a video before long where I have the two 20s and then the 30 on the end to see how well that does. But I just wanted to show everybody the comparison and how to maybe pick some numbers on these match five. Uh, it's a lot of numbers to try to cover. Uh, um, it'd be very hard to do if you had a, mo a lottery pool of maybe 20 or 25 people or you had some kind of system worked out, then you might spend the same amount you're on average of what you're spending now, but your chances of winning would be a lot more. But I hope everyone likes this video. If you will, like and subscribe, and thank y'all very much.